Hey you, wanna buy my DLC? It's only a hundred- <gasps> Games suck nowadays. They're awful. And even worse, apps are made more and more intrusive. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. The decline of gaming and how intrusive it's become. But I'm going to show you a real life example of what happened the other day so you can see where I'm coming from with this. Who is that? Hello? Hi, we're here for your phone's yearly maintenance. We'll only take a day or so. The next day. What the? What are you doing in my phone? Just hanging around. Every single time without fail and like they're the most generic phone games imaginable it's not candy crush it's candy pop it's not tetris it's tetra what are we doing it's like the type of game your grandma and her friends in the retirement home play or my bus driver would be playing like get it off I don't want it. It's just bloatware at this point. But apps aside, it seems like tech companies as a whole get away with way more than they did in the past. Let me break it down for you, right? You and I have an exchange. I give you game. You give me money. You have game. You very happy. I have your money. I very happy. And nowadays, things are completely different. You give me money. I don't give you game. I make you sign contract that says you don't even own game, but you have permission to play it. You very sad. I very happy. And I still charge you for $30 skin. Dumbass. Oh, you better hope them servers don't go down, boy. Call me asparagus. Right. <laughs> and I can't be the only one who's not okay with this behavior. But the thing is, those greasy little goobers will be gargling, licking, suckling, snorkeling the meat of these big tech companies. Like, they're they're the ones on the line. I still remember this Discord conversation. It was a beta for some gacha game. I know a gacha game, right? The players were complaining about how some of these things were too grindy and too expensive. And this kid comes in like, guys, guys, settle down. It's simply part of the industry. If you're not prepared to sell at least $500, then you shouldn't even play the game. Huh? Who asked you to do that? Why? Why? I made another video a while ago, you could watch it after this, about NPCs. And that's just NPC behavior. If you don't own the company, you probably don't have any shares. What's in it for you? Why? Like, it's really interesting when you think about it, how far the video game industry has pushed our boys. What's up? If you're a gamer, a real gamer, you know about Skyrim, one of the highest grossing single player games of all time. But it's big brother, it's predecessor, Oblivion, came out to critical acclaim. Everybody loved it, so fun. But the problem was that infamous day they added that one DLC. Everything you see nowadays, battle pass, skins, this almost started with horse armor. They added an armor into Skyrim that added nothing but armor for your horse, no extra protection for $2.50. And everyone complained, this is horrible. How could you do this? This is stupid. And it is one of the highest earning microtransactions they ever made. So everyone complained, but everybody bought it. And so the whole game industry is like, wait a minute, we can like put no effort into DLC and charge for it and people will buy it. Awesome, go where you wanna go, be who you wanna be. Little Toddy made so many sweet lives and promises. And here we are now. And so now the floodgates are open. You get a DLC. That game gets a DLC. Everybody gets a DLC. Why? Why? And now it's gotten even crazier in games with gambling with things like loot boxes and gacha systems. Oh my God, if I give $100, I can get my waifu. Oh my God. 2D is better than 3D, right guys? And I, I can see the game devs perspective. Wait a minute, we have an online player base. What if we locked off progression behind tedious activities and just made them pay to speed it up and actually enjoy the game. But that couldn't possibly work. It fucking worked. It worked. Uh, and now we have things like sports games releasing every single year with players spending thousands of dollars on ultimate packs when they're gonna lose the progress and the point of it in another year. Like at least gambling, you have real life money you keep. You're literally gambling on a rental. That's actually kind of crazy. I'm really just processing it now. Gambling money on something that only holds value for a year until the next game's released. Holy fuck. And even thinking about the origins of Gacha, I remember all the way back, I think 2010, I upgraded from my dinky little flip phone to my first smartphone. It was a little scuff, but I was able to get games. I downloaded Sononia 3 and 4 and I loved it. But eventually I found a game that transformed my whole life, dipping my toes into Gacha game. And that game was Brave Frontier. <gasps> the pixel art style, the music, the sound effects, the character designs, the combat, the bursts. It was all pristine, but I had a problem with that game. Oh my god. I remember anytime I scrounged up a little baby fart amount of money, eh. all of it spent on Brave Frontier. Because I needed those good characters. It, it's an investment in the game. Oh my god. And the game shut down now, but I think up to when I was playing, I had a thousand days logged in consecutively. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And that was the early stage of Gacha Game. That was just a taste of that sweet, 
succulent, tasteful. Gotcha experience. Oh my god. And now, just like how Bethesda pioneered a way to steal your money, they're still trying to find more ways to get more money from you. Mods. <clears throat> Video game modding, short for modification, is the process of alteration by players or fans of one or more aspects of a video game, such as how it looks or behaves, and is a sub-discipline of general modding. It's done by the players for the players, and Bethesda for the longest time has been carried by those mods. Oh no! Skyrim is really buggy? Mods will fix that. Oh my god, I want to level faster! Mods can do that. I want to- <laughs> I want an elf furry bukkake harem. Mods probably got you, you sick. Mods have been a huge staple in PC gaming, and Bethesda was like, what if we just charge the players for that? Are we getting all that good stuff for free? Like, why aren't we getting any good chain off that? Like, damn, you wouldn't deserve it. And I think the first time Bethesda tried to do this was in around 2012 to 2014, and the player outlash was insane. Not insane, and they still did it. It was like, no, you're not doing this, which is good. And unfortunately, even though players are complaining, just like with horse arm, if enough people complain and still buy or give in, it's gonna become the norm, which... Ah, damn. I mean, think of a company like Blizzard Entertainment. They had so many scandals that I'm not gonna talk about in this one video. And yet, everyone was outraged, and now they put out K-pop skin, and they're like, oh my god. I mean, now that they have a K-pop skin, they're kind of iconic. Iconic. And now, before we segue into our next section, I want to thank our sponsor. Psych! I don't have a sponsor. I'm a rat! I ain't no snitch. Nah, but I want you to imagine something for a sec, all right? Woo! Time for some Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Be ready. Next kill streak. Burger time. With additional benefits available at your local McDonald's. And that's exactly what Street Fighter V tried to do. Oh, we have a pro tournament coming up. Let's just plop some crappy advertisements right onto the default costumes. And players hated it. They were not having that. No. Imagine this. Akuma, he finishes you. Ba 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 ba. And you see the death mark. The symbol of death. But instead of seeing that, you see a McDonald's <laughs> symbol. Ba 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 ba. Oh my god. If I got my cheeks clapped and online ranked by someone with a McDonald's skin, I'd have to delete the game. There's just no other way to go about it. But ultimately, it didn't get to that point, and the backlash from the pro tournament skins alone made Capcom shelve the Street Fighter V advertisement skins. But now, we have another offender with the finals. And you might have heard this before. Thank you to our sponsors. And it's part of the in-game lore where they're getting funded by an in-game energy drink. But if you really use all 100% of your brain for a second and really think about it, it's almost like the finals is conditioning us for, and thank you to our sponsor, Coca-Cola. Damn. Is this really where we're at with gaming? And I know it's a free-to-play game, but oh my God. Y'all are already wow. charging $20 per cosmetic item. I think you got enough. But if it ever really does get to that point, I'm definitely dropping the game for good. Hold on to your Azolt bucket hats. Brought to you by Azolt. I beg your pardon? 